And good day, everyone. So today we are building a function that allows you to post multiple photos. Don't worry if you have not been following this series. I will explain this so that you are good even without it. But anyway, let's get started. First step is that we create a new page. This will be our post page. I am going with this one. Give your page a name and proceed. Then let's go back home and create navigation to that page. I'm going to duplicate this row. Delete this. Give this button a new name, which will be post multiple photos. I will delete this action chain and add new, which will be navigate to post multiple photos page. Great, now head back to post page. In here, we can clear some of this stuff out because we will not be needing it. And change this column to be scrollable. Then we will be adding list view into this. insert it inside of this column, then drag the image inside of it. Perfect. Now click on the post button and add an action to it. Our action will be navigate to home page for now, then close this. Then we can go to our data fields. I'm going to my post section. Add a new field which will be post multiple photos. Data type will be image, and it is a list. Then head back to your post page. Firstly, I will change this to be my poster email. And for this icon button, I want the borders to be gray so it is easier to spot. And we are ready. Click on the icon button and add an action to that. Action will be upload save media. Type will be Firebase. And switch this to gallery only. Then allow multiple images. And close this. Then click on the list view. And press generate children from variable. Give this a name. I will not have maximum items. And this will be widget state, uploaded file URLs, and save. Good job. Then click on the image. Add a bit of padding in here. Click the value. I quickly remove this so we can create a new one. Choose this and confirm. Then click on the list view and click on conditional visibility, conditions, single condition. First value will be widget state, uploaded file URLs, number of items, confirm is less than one, I'm sorry, is greater than one and confirm. Then go to your icon button. Add conditional visibility. Single condition. Widget state. Uploaded file URLs. Number of items. Is less than. One. And confirm. And I just realized that I made a mistake. Go back to your list view. Change this to greater than or equal to one and confirm. Then we can proceed. Click on the post button and open up the action center. Add a new action. 
Create a document to Firebase. Post collection. I am going to add these really quickly. Now for our topic. Widget state. Text field. Poster. Authenticated user. User reference. Image. Uploaded file URL. Date. Global properties. Current time. And we can remove these. Now for the image. We can remove this one and for this. Set value from variable. Uploaded file URLs and confirm. Then we can close this. Then make sure that we have navigate back set up in here. Great. Now we can go to home page and set up how we show our images. You can use tab bar, it looks cool, but for this tutorial, I am going to use just a row. First, wrap this image into a row. Then make sure that this row is set to be scrollable. After that, select the row that you have created. and select create children from variable. Give your variable a name. I don't have max items. Select the post document and images. Switch this to map list item and confirm. Then select the image, remove this. and create new path and select the images then go to conditional visibility single condition images item is set and confirm then it's time to go to our firebase rules and validate everything in here so we should not run to any errors. And now it's time to try out our app. Click on create a new post. I'm going to upload five images. And there you have it. You can preview all the images in here. Then I write some text in here and post. And as you can see, the images are in the post. I can scroll this to see different images. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I will see you in my next video. And happy building.